Hi, I'm Shona. I'm the Education and Outreach Manager at Geoscience Australia. Geoscience Australia brings together experts in Australia's geology and geography. In this series, we're going to explore some of Australia's landscapes and landforms. We're going to learn about some of their features and the processes that shape them. We're also going to think about how landscapes and landforms are valued and the ways humans impact and protect them. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the landforms of Uluru and Katajuta. Okay, how did you go? Did you figure out what the processes were that continued to shape Uluru and Katajuta after the rocks were tilted? Over hundreds of millions of years, these rocks were weathered and eroded. The softer parts of the rocks were eroded or worn down faster than the harder parts. Weathering happens with the heating and cooling of the surfaces of Uluru and Katajuta. The changes in temperature can cause cracks in the rock that run parallel to the surface. Eventually, this causes pieces of rock to fall away. It is thought that Katajuta's main valleys were also formed by weathering that widened fractures in the rock and rainwater runoff that slowly shaped the canyons and domes. Meanwhile, weathering and erosion processes have created features on the surface of Uluru, like steep valleys, holes and raised parallel ridges. Aboriginal people have lived in this area around Uluru and Katajuta for at least 30,000 years. The traditional owners speak Yunkanjara and Pidjinjara and are known as Ananu. For Ananu, the Central Australian landscape, including Uluru and Katajuta, was created at the beginning of time by ancestral beings who they are descended from. These ancestral beings, Shukaricha, created the world and the religion, law and moral systems. This creation period is known as Chukapa. Physical evidence of the actions of Shukaricha during Shukapa are still visible at Uluru and Katajuta, and Shukapa is kept alive and strong by Anangu through ceremony, song, art, dance, and story. Anangu believe that they are responsible for protecting and managing their ancestral lands and ensuring that Chukapa continues to live in the land and in the people. Uluru Katajuta National Park was handed back to Anangu in 1985. Since then, the park has been jointly managed by them and the Australian Government. Uluru Katajuta National Park is also recognised internationally by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organisation, UNESCO, who have given it a World Heritage listing for both its natural and cultural values. More than 250,000 people visit the park each year, which also makes it really valuable in terms of tourism. OK, it's time for a demonstration. We've made some sand dunes in this container and we're going to add some boulders to it. I'm even going to bury some of them. Now we're going to do a before sketch. So, let's sketch what we can see. Next, we're going to use these straws to make some wind. What do you think will happen? Let's see. Have a look. Some of the small sediments, or grains of sand, are being eroded by the wind. And the heavier boulders have barely moved. And deposition is happening too. The eroded sand is landing over here, creating a new sand formation. OK, let's sketch this new landscape we can see in our container. Let's annotate it with information about the processes we've just seen. Why don't you have a go too? That's a great idea. And while you're doing the activity, have a think as well. 
What links can you make between what you're doing and the landforms of Uluru and Katajuta? A couple of fast facts before we go. Did you know that the rusty colour of Uluru is caused by the rusting of iron in the rock when it's exposed to oxygen? The rock that Uluru is made of is called Arco sandstone and it's actually a grey colour. And Uluru and Katajuta are actually just the tips of huge rock slabs that extend underground of up to six kilometres. Isn't that amazing? I'll tell you what else is amazing. How hungry I am now for some dessert. No, dessert. Yes, that's it. 